Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to make this style planter right here. And it's super easy. Watch this. Okay, I'm making this 35 inches. So it's 35 by 35 a box. And so I'm just getting two pieces. And these two are both well over uh, 35. And so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure these are cutoffs from a local uh, fencing company. They just toss them out. So this, this job's free. So I'm just gonna go ahead and square these ends off with my chop saw. Okay, now what I wanna do is just rip each one of these right in half. Okay, now you can see I've got eight pieces, two, four, six, eight. So we're gonna make a box out of each one, an upper and a lower box. This is the part we're doing first. So I'm gonna cut 45s into each corner and basically make two picture frames. I'm gonna cut these both this way. This one's gonna go this way. Love this thing. Okay, so we're gonna, that's angling towards me. And I'm just gonna aim for this corner right there. Try to aim, line that up right in this slot. Alright, next we're going to carve a ledge into this thing and we're going to carve it with this blade right here. So what we want to do is basically build a shelf for these things to sit on. And so in this case, this is uh, this is going to be the bottom one. We're going to make these both the same. We're going to make top and bottom identical. And so we're just going to pretend that they're both going to go on the bottom. But really the top one's just going to get flipped over. You'll, you'll see what I mean. Just follow along with me here. But I'm going to go ahead and mark this to just kind of illustrate the cutout portion of what we're gonna cut out. So we wanna make this a ledge here, right? And then come up like that because that's where we want our, our planter boards to sit on this way. And then if we wanted to, we could make uh, a bottom for it as well. And so it's actually gonna come out this way, right? Okay, what I did here is just set my distance here which is this width. Went ahead and set that to seven eighths. Okay, then the other element you have to worry about is your blade height. I set that to seven eighths as well. So I just took it from right there, took the highest point on there, to seven eighths. Okay, so now when I do this, I'm gonna come in at, like, this is the piece, just like this. Okay, then I'm gonna take it and flip it so the point points cut in toward yourself there. We're going to go this way with it. Then we're going to take it and just immediately face it that way on the next cut and run it that way. So All right, and here's what you get. Right there, that's exactly what we want. It's kind of like a picture frame. <clears throat> Super easy. I'll just take one more of these. All right, what I like to do now is take that brad nailer and then just tack the corners together just to hold it together before I put screws in the corner. All right, got them all tacked together. Now, time to cut the 16 inch slats. Real easy, boom, done. Do that with all of them. So I got four boards just to start with, just to get this thing going. And then, just get it started with one on the floor. I'll put one there, I'll put one there, and then do the same thing on the opposite side. Just tacking them in with this. And the brads that I'm using, fairly small. Okay, now that I've faced these upward, I just flip this around. I'm gonna take this and do the same thing down here. Just fit this up real nice in there. And pop into the corner.
Okay, one thing I like to do with these, and you can do this at any time when it's done or even before you put in any of these slats, is that I like to use these screws right here. Um, they are awesome and hold, they hold up amazing. There we go, there's the finished product. Super easy. I can do it, you guys can do it. You can see here too, if you want to put a bottom on there, you can there's a little ledge.